Okay, so please tell me about your name and your organization. Okay, my name is Pieter van Eyck and I work uh, for Wetlands uh, International, which is a conservation organization that is dedicated to the conservation of wetland uh, ecosystems, both for local communities that depend on those systems and for uh, conserving biodiversity. Okay, so please tell me, how critical is climate change today? Climate change is a, a major problem. Uh, according to uh, scientists in the IPCC, there will be huge impacts both on the livelihoods of, uh, of people all around the world as well as on the environment. Many uh, species will uh, get extinct and tens of millions of people will uh, get increasingly poor and very uh, vulnerable to extreme events such as uh, for example storms in coastal areas or uh, inland uh, droughts or uh, for example extreme rainfall and floods. Mm. Do you think that a conference like this um, adequately addresses climate change issues? Um, I think uh, it does. I think many people uh, in the water sector will be the people that will uh, be strongly involved in uh, mainly climate change adaptation activities, trying to deal in a better way uh, with the uh, changes that take place in uh, hydrological systems and uh, I think the experts that have real on the ground experience they will be the people that ultimately uh, will be able uh, to make sure that we create a world that's more resilient to climate change. All right so um, what can Africans or African leaders do to ensure that um, the effect of um, climate change is, is reduced on, on their people? I think African leaders should do uh, two different uh, things. First of all, they should, at the international uh, arena, very strongly call uh, for reduced emissions of carbon. And they should mainly uh, address the developed countries that uh, are responsible for a significant part of those emissions. But they can also act, I think, on a local level in their own countries, among others by uh, implementing climate change adaptation measures so measures that help uh, people and nature to uh, become more resilient to climate change uh, to ensure that these measures are being uh, undertaken in a sustainable way and that they consider environmental requirements and uh, protection and restoration of environmental services that are provided by ecosystems. So how does your work um, affect climate change? Um, we have several projects uh, with Wetlands International. Among others, we uh, are trying to accomplish climate change mitigation through the restoration of ecosystems that are very high in carbon. For example, peatlands are uh, huge stocks of carbon uh, stored in the form of dead organic matter in uh, the soil. And as a result of uh, disturbance by people, much of that carbon is being emitted once those peatlands are being drained. And among others, we have pro projects in which we try to restore those peatlands and thereby maintain the sequestration potential of these uh, ecosystems. On climate change adaptation, we are also very active. And through field projects and policy work, we first of all try to convince local uh, policymakers to consider the importance of ecosystems in their adaptation strategies. And we also want to demonstrate practical approaches for accomplishing climate change adaptation through the restoration and maintenance of ecosystems. Thank you very much. Welcome.